Hey everyone, in this video I would like to introduce a new feature of Ray Tree Play uh, called Data Distribution Graphs. So let's have a look at it. I've got uh, a track loaded up with a boat going upwind and I would like to look at the frequency that he reached certain values of say boat speed, force stay or anything else. So to start with I'm going to go straight to that feature by clicking on the menu Graph Data Distribution Graph. And then I've got a configuration dialog. So first of all, on the left side, I can select which values I would like to report on. I can remove one or add it again. Then I need to specify time filter between which events. If I had a wand set, I can show you that now. If I select my wand here, I could then specify that I want it to be between the one times. In this case, let's take the whole track. I can then specify if I would like a distribution split between sport, port and starboard, if I want to exclude any maneuvers, and also the minimum, minimum frequency of each value uh, that I want it to appear. Otherwise, you will have um, fluke values like a, a slow boat speed that appears only 0.1% of the time. Well, I'm telling it right now, don't display those ones. I want the real values that we have reached. Once, anytime I change something here, it's going to ask, it's going to ask me to click on this domain button, which means that it's going to look at what are the minimum and maximum values it's going to plot. So you can override that if you wish and say, I want to see the boat speed between eight and 10 knots. Now, another important one is to specify a step. And this is like a binning step. It's going to take during all my track, it's going to look at every point what boat speed value uh, we had, and then basically um, smooth it to the next, the closest 0.1 knot. Uh, enough of words, I just want to show you the result, and then we're going to go back into it. Note that I also asked it to split port and starboard if I want to have a graph for each of those. Let's click OK, see what happens. So we have three graphs for our three variables on this upwind. Uh, top one has a boat speed and there's a curve for uh, ports and a curve for starboard and then a table next to it which gives you a summary of what the average was over the period of time we selected and the standard deviation. The standard deviation is a calculation of how much we were deviating from that average. When you have a standard deviation of zero, that means you manage to be constantly on this fixed average. The higher the standard deviation, the more you were varying around that, that average. Uh, possibly you were, your boat was accelerating, decelerating a, a lot. So in this, with, with this, um, these three graphs, we can now uh, deduct that speed, boat speed was slightly faster on starboard tack, but you were also going quite a bit lower by looking at the true and angle. And we can also see that you were healing a bit more on starboard. And there was a larger standard deviation of heel on starboard. That means that the boat was probably changing modes a lot more. There's a lot of change of heels, possibly less stability. And next thing you can do is the same thing for multiple boats. So let me load up another boat. Pick a color. Here's my other boat. And let's now look at the wand area. And same thing, I can do a data distribution. Um, multi boats. And let's go ahead between the wands. Let's go ahead and run that. And it's going to open another distribution. And now we can uh, uh, quickly see that uh, both on port and starboard, it seems that. Uh, boat one was slightly, slightly faster. You can also look at the averages of true and angle. Um, so this is another, just another tool that allows you to uh, to kind of look at how the distribution of your data, how much you're you're fluctuating around an average, and compare between boats or between tacks.